We've got legendary metal man, a guy I've, well, I've looked up to Rob Helfer for a long time. He's got one of the best screams in the business. Rob. Thank you, Sammy. Coming nice. from a fellow screamer, that's, that's a real cool thing to hear you, so yeah, thank you. Speaking of screamers, as singers, do you call yourself a singer or are you more like a screamer? Are you, are you offended if someone calls you no, a screamer? No, I mean, it's, it's rock and roll. When you, take, when you take all the labels away, it's, we, we're rock and roll, man. Yeah. It, it doesn't offend me either because it's part, of, like I say, it's part of the deal. Trying to just get it out there, you sometimes just got to scream. So, this lead singers, like we, okay, we're lead singers. Like we've been accused of having lead singers disease and all this stuff. Do you have lead, do you, do you think you have lead singers disease, Rob? Do you have? <laughs> I don't know. What is have that, you, Sammy? What is the lead well, singers disease? Well, that's what I wonder what the symptoms are because <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was coming down with it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's usually to me, the guitar player's fault, man. It's, it's not yeah. mine, you know. Well, here, here's something. Um, <laughs> In-ear monitors for rock and roll singers. Do you use the no, in-ear monitors? I, do don't not, see. I can't. I don't know I how cannot. you do it. I listen to the, the whole band. And I can hear everything. I can hear the cymbals. I can hear the bass. These are amazing. So for me, for, for what I do as a singer, it's, it really is a lifesaver. I was singing too. I was singing harder to hear myself mm -hmm. over the the rest of the guys. I'm hearing so this again I, so and again. I found, again I found and again. that was a good place. It, it is hard on your voice, but yeah. Uh, like I said, unless I get sick, I'm okay. And I just want to make sure that uh, I don't. I you know, just got some tricks or something that's up your sleeve, Rob. That you know. No, but, but what, what I did mention again I want before you to we teach went me there something here. Now, was we're the, not doing this for the nothing. The world. For, I should, I, you know. <laughs> You've got your you've got your tequila, right? I need to get myself my, my chewing gum, my menthol eucalyptus chewing gum, and I'm also when I go off to do a costume change or whatever, I'm sipping really really hot lemon and honey with a little bit of ginger uh, mixed damn in, see, Rob, and that just kind of strips Look all that all that stuff off you. You're a damn pro. Yeah. Look at you, man. Maybe I should <laughs> maybe I should have quit drinking in 1986, but I've, I've, I've never. Tell, when I look, what, and, and again, we we don't like to look at ourselves on camera, do we? But if I look at myself on old pre stuff from my drinking and drugging days, I know I know when I go off stage, I'm I'm doing a, doing a line between songs. I'm like. <laughs> What the hell was I doing? See, I you never know? did all that. So, no, I'll do a line, but I was, not when I'm I was, singing. Yeah, I was on my big black oh, downward man. spiral, and I was doing that to get through a show, and it, it kind of fills me with a little bit of regret and remorse. My performance, as I hear it, wasn't that greatly affected, but mentally, I, I, I'm so happy to have left that place behind now. I know? used to like you when you uh, I, I know the stage, that era of you, when I see you in that era, you, you really were edgy. I mean, you, you could have been a punk. Like, of all the metal guys, mm -hmm. you almost could have fallen into the punk. You yeah. had so much attitude. And yeah. I, I, I never noticed you ever being out of it in, in the old days. But, you know, you, you seem like you're so consistent in, you know, from drinking, not drinking. In well, it's a miracle. It's a changing miracle. Bands, changing bands, yeah, changing members, getting yeah, in and out, I, going solo. I know. It, it's just a miracle. And from that, from that moment 30 odd years ago when I quit all that stuff, my first ever clean and sober show was at the Tingley Coliseum in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1986, I think it was. Damn, you got a memory. Yeah, there, and I walked on stage that night and I was terrified because I hadn't been on stage with a drink or, for, for all those years as a performer. And I was terrified. But as soon as I started to perform, I felt something that I was never feeling before because I had nothing kind of getting in the way, chemically or whatever. It was just the great joy and feeling of the human voice and how it makes you feel. You know when you sing in the shower and you feel great? You know, I, I suddenly got in touch with this thing in, in, my, in my body that I'd, in my mind, my spirit, whatever wow. you want to call it. And I literally, Sammy, I was literally floating on air. It was so euphoric. And I thought, man, I've been missing this for all of my life as a, as a singer, as a performer. And oh, I'm so that. blessed to have it now because I have so much more to do, you know? So yeah, vivid memory.